Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today is March 1st, 2024 and I'm here to share with you the new Studio Calico kits and add-on stamp sets. So as always, I'm going to start with my add-on stamp sets and then we will check out the kits. Okay, so let's start with the date stamp. So this date stamp ends, I think, 2033. So it starts on uh, 2024 and then it ends 2033. So that's pretty cool. And I love Studio Calico's date stamps. Um, this is my older one. And I have this older one was white and the new one has more of a creamy color to it. And mine should end soon, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, I'll just start using this one now. Uh, anyways, let's move on and check out the stamp sets. So we're going to start with the 3 by 4 So this basically is a good add-on stamp set for your kit, your documenter kit. But if you want to pass on it, you don't have to pick it up because it is sold separately. I do love this. Um, I'm hoping to use this today and I'll share with you how to use this stamp. But you can stamp a rainbow at the top and the bottom and have one of these words in the center or just stamp it at the top and maybe have a little icon if you wanted to. It's just a fun little add-on stamp set. Then we have the alpha. This one's a fun one. I'm always a big fan of alphas. It's a nice size for my daily journal. Um, this one's going to be a fun one as well. So you can stamp out the little pocket and you can trim that top portion or like cut through it and have one of these to slide in, kind of like a card basically. But um, this one's going to be fun to try out. So you have like words like field, urgent, noted, prioritize this, save for later, important, and they kind of work as library cards as well, I think. So that's a cool one. So this next one is a fun stamp that I'm excited about. It's very similar to a few stamps a few months ago that I really, really enjoyed, but this time around you have words like overheard, and then you have the speech bubbles, capturing magic with some stars for the record, this happened, remember this. I don't know if you can see those, but there's just little icons on the side of each word inside the blocks. Like there's some cameras there and hearts. And then that one says nope with some X's. Really cute. This next one is perfect if you're documenting going to Disney World or Disneyland or something like that, or some fun shows that you've been watching lately. Uh, but it has magic is something you make. Everyday magic, some stars, like clusters of stars, a circle with the clusters of stars. All I see is magic. Really, really cute. So those are the add-on stamp sets. Let's check out the stamp subscription. So this month, the stamp sub is pretty fun. Love that it is designed by In a Creative Bubble. And you got the enjoy the now, a day well spent, slow down, take it easy, savor. And again, like that nice little card. I wonder if this fits in that pocket. Let me check. I don't think so. No, this one's too small. Oh, well, it's okay. Anyways, you can make your own pocket. But this one's a fun little stamp. Again, I just love that it is designed by In a Creative Bubble. I enjoy everything she makes. And I'm excited to use this. Alrighty, let's take a look at the documenter kit. Ah, I never can open this properly. I'm really bad at opening these envelopes. Okay, that did not work. But we got it open. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with the packaging. Okay, so the inside has field notes. I'm kind of bummed. I thought the inside of the envelopes would hold the month like a little card where you can trim out and probably use it in your like project life or whatever project you're working on but that's not the case again that's not a big deal but anyways i'm gonna remove everything out of the packaging and we're gonna take a look at the documenter kit 
All right, so the first thing I want to see is the washi because when I opened this, I was like, okay, I think I'm really gonna like this. Look how pretty and subtle that is. I am so excited for this. How can I be so excited about washi like that? I like it's literally the first thing I want to look at when I open the packaging. I just love that blue. It's so pretty with the hints of yellow and green. Loving it. Next up is these little um, pockets. So these remind me of the Me, Myself and I from 2022, I believe. I love the colors they went with. Very pretty. And I'm really excited for this because these are going to be perfect in my Discbound Traveler's Notebook. Really, really pretty. And I was running out of mine. I think I bought two packs for, for the Me, Myself and I, and I didn't end up using all of them. So it's nice to have some extras there. These, I'm very, very excited about these labels. You get two sheets and they are gorgeous. I love the colors. So you have like little moments, the date, location, rating, grow your own way, take it slow, love this, details below, so fun. I love that they changed up the labels with some words. Okay, next up we have the alphas. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite color, but there's something I've done for years since the day I've used alphas. Um, I just use my marker, my black marker, or my black Posca pen to color them in because I prefer usually my titles to be in black. And so I don't want to waste my alphas. So I always end up coloring them in, especially when it's a color that I know I won't end up using. So that's a little trick if you didn't know about that. Next is the chipboard, which is lovely. I'm really digging the colors this month. It's like spring with a little bit of neutrals. Perfect for me. So actually, I mentioned earlier that stamp set, the three by four stamp set and how, I wonder if you can see this, hold up. Okay, so how you can stamp the little half circles and then stamp the words on there and you can make something like that, which is fun. These are vellum, I'm putting that backwards, I think. I can't even see without my glasses. No, that is definitely backwards. Anyways, you can make these little vellum pieces if uh, you run out or you wanna make your own colors, but those are really, really pretty and fun. So now that we took got a look at um, all the embellishments, let's take a look at the paper. So again, the paper is six by eight. You get two three by fours, no, two four by sixes on one side. And then the B side is usually a pattern. You could even trim that out if you like. I do love those. That is beautiful. Really like that. Ooh, and that one's really nice. Now I do always get the digitals with these kits. And so if there is a pattern that I really, really like, I can always reprint it. Oh, that's new. So you get two four by sixes on both sides. So that is new. Usually it's pattern. Oh, and look, you guys, they're listening to us. We mentioned how sometimes you would like the pattern over the four by six. So they're mixing it up a little bit, which is nice. Loving those three by fours. And I have been using this kit in my Disc Bound Traveler's Notebook and in my Scrappy Spiral Notebook and really, really enjoying it. That's so beautiful. I think I'm gonna end up using that. Or at least half of it is just so pretty. Oh my gosh, oh, and that's beautiful. So anyway, um, I have been, you know, enjoying the trimming things apart and adding pockets to my Disc Bound Traveler's Notebook and using the three by fours in there. That is beautiful, love it. Some more. Very, very pretty. That is nice. I'm really digging this month's kits. Those flowers are lovely. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be using up a lot of this kit. It is so my colors. 
and my style. And um, there's your cut aparts. You usually get the two by twos and then the cut aparts here with some tags and labels. They're just so pretty. Very nice. I like that they listened and switched it up a little bit and added pattern on pattern. That way you're not having to, you know, choose between the pattern and the cards. So anyways, that is the new kit and the add-on stamp sets. I'm going to be using my kit today. I haven't decided in what yet. It might be my scrappy spiral notebook or my traveler's notebook. I'm not sure. So if you want to see how I use my kit and in what I'm going to be using my kit in, just keep watching. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. So basically, I'm going to go through the paper from the kit and try to figure out which paper or pattern paper that I want to work with and that goes well with my photos. Once I decide on my pattern, I will also be adding some grid paper as well from my own stash because as you guys know, I do love my pattern paper, but I also like to keep things simple and I like my white background, so I always end up adding some grid paper. I really like this pattern. It's very subtle. I love the blues, and my photos have a lot of blue in it, so I think this is going to work perfectly. I decide to use the whole paper, and it's going to cover up one side of my traveler's notebook layout, and there's just going to be a smaller piece on the opposite side. That way I still have some of the grid popping out from the background, and also I have some color as well. So once I stick down my six by eight paper to my grid paper, I'm gonna grab my photos and try to figure out how I'm gonna lay my photos on this spread. I have about four photos of our recent trip to the aquarium, the Georgia Aquarium. This was a special evening where Georgia Tech closed down the Georgia Aquarium for their students, and then the students were able to invite family and friends. So basically, we all went, and I took along my sister as well, and we met up with Sabine's friend and Sabine's friend's mom, and it was just a really lovely evening. Now, I tried really hard to just stick to a few photos for this layout, but I decided that I'm gonna re-document this in my Scrappy Spiral notebook. So I'll be able to document more photos from this outing once I, you know, work on that spread. But anyways, for now, I'm just going to stick to these four photos. I started by adding one of the labels that says little moments. And it's a great place for me to just add the date, uh, the location, things like that. I also want to use the three by four stamp. I'm really digging this like oval looking um, rainbow thingamabobber. I don't even know what I want to call it, but I think it's going to be fun to add it in the corner. Right when I added my photos, I had this vision of kind of creating clusters of embellishments, of stamping. So that's what I'm going for at this point. I fill in my little stamp. I wish I went lighter and didn't go with black ink for this, but it still worked out and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to change it. I think it'll help balance between the colors of the photos and my layout. I went ahead and stuck down my photos and I go back to that sheet of labels and use this one that says this moment, but I don't need the whole label. I'm just going to trim it in half and add it to the side of my photo. There's not enough space for the full label, and I think it looks pretty cool trimmed down. Using some of the chipboard to add dimension to the sides of my photos, I'll also grab a circle chipboard as well in yellow to match my label, and I fill in the space really nicely, but it's not overwhelming, which I really like. Now for that chipboard, I felt like it needed a little something. So I'm just going to use the stamp set to stamp enjoy. I don't ink up the whole sentiment. I just ink up enjoy and it fit really nicely in my yellow chipboard. Now that I'm done with the right side of my spread, I want to start working on the left side and I need space for journaling. So I'm just going to use the yellow pocket, the vellum pocket. It's so cute. It has the little card. 
So I printed out my journaling on some matte sticker paper, and I'm just going to be adding my journaling to the bottom portion of my card because once I slide in the card in the vellum pocket, I wanna use that top portion for a big title. And that way the vellum piece doesn't cover up my title, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna use my not very favorite orange alphas, and I'm going to color them in, like I mentioned earlier, with my black Posca pen. This is my go-to when I do not like the alphas in a kit and I don't wanna waste them, so I'll just color them in myself. While I wait for them to dry, I just fill in my little label that I added to my photo. I go back to the alphas and I use the alphas to add my large title, which is gonna be today. I did want it to be one word because I still wanna use the stamp set to add little something around the title. So I end up using the same three by four stamp set. I'm gonna stamp the little box right underneath today and I'll fill in the box with moments. And I will also use the rainbow to add a little bit of color to my title. I go with blue so it can match my photos. And then all I have to do is stick down my pocket to my layout. When I come to stick down my pocket, I noticed that it was just very yellow and the pocket just needed a little something. So I'm just gonna end up using a chipboard for that. Just add it to the corner. I'm gonna grab my hole puncher and just punch out my holes for my disc bound traveler's notebook cover and then add it in my traveler's notebook cover and call my layouts done. So easy, so simple. I love how it turned out. I love sticking to a kit when creating in my projects because it really helps the process come together faster and easier. Anyways, you guys, don't forget today is release day at Studio Calico. I'm gonna be adding all the links for everything I use down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.